you might have seen uh, features like face recognition in your smartphone using which it can recognize your face to unlock the phone or you might have seen a feature on a snapchat application where uh, they overlay some visual elements like uh, crown, bunny ears, uh, dog face on top of your face. So ever wonder what is the technology behind that? Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you convolution neural network which is one of the subject area of deep learning and is used widely in image recognition, face recognition, object detection for self-driving cars, identifying uh, street signs or image analysis on medical images. I will also develop certain image recognition based projects later on once I explain all the necessary concepts associated with convolution neural network to you. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. GitHub link for all the required Jupyter notebooks is given in the description section as well as at the end of the video. Please don't forget to like and share this video. So let's understand what is convolution neural network first. So CNN or convolution neural network are neural networks that are used primarily to classify images or visual content, perform object recognition within different scenes, cluster different images by similarity, the term which is commonly known as photo search. So a CNN is a network of processing layers used to reduce an image to its key features so that it can be more easily classified. Let me take an example here. So if you look at this image, some of you might see person sitting on a horse and others might see an old man. Your brain is kind of trying to process this image but struggling a bit. So essentially when a brain looks at the image, it tries to process the features of that image and based on that only it comes to a conclusion to categorize it in some way. When you look at the left side of this image, you will see an old man. But if you look at the right side of this image, then you will uh, see more features and hence a man sitting on a horse and lady lying on a floor. Now what we are going to do with CNN is something similar. A computer will try to process this image in the similar way we are processing it or the similar way a human is processing it. Here is the simple representation of CNN or convolution neural network. You will give an input image to the CNN model and that CNN model will extract the features of that image and it will classify that image as either cat or dog. Or you can give thousands of facial expressions related images to CNN model. This CNN model will then extract and learn about different features of those images. And it will then classify the expression as excited, happy, sad, surprise, etc. So how CNN recognize uh, these features? Consider you have two images. One is black and white image of 2x2 two two pixel and other one is colored image of 2x2 two two pixel. A black and white image in CNN is referred as 2D or two dimensional array or tensor and color image is referred as 3D image. Each of the pixel in black and white image is a 8 bit information that is every pixel having a value between 0 and 255 which is including 0 is total 256 so 1 to 255 and then 0 so it will make 256 now 2 to the power 8 is 256 only and that's why 8 bit of information 0 to 255 is the intensity of color where 255 is completely white pixel and 0 is the completely black pixel and in between you will have grayscale range of colors. To start with computers read this information to process the image. So every image is a representation of 1's and zeros, forming number 0 to 255 for each pixel and computer reads these zeros and 1's. On the other hand, color images are made up of three colors called red, green and blue or RGB. 
so basically three layers each of red green and blue now each of these colors have their own color intensities that is each having value ranging from 0 to 255 computers combine these separate colors to find out the color of the image let me show you an image to give you an idea of what the term feature with respect to image represents consider this car image you can see computer segregates it into various low level mid level and high level features to understand the details about that image to understand these features of an image CRN makes use of various layers like convolution layer, rectified linear unit or ReLU layer, pooling layer, fully connected layer, etc. I'm going to cover each of these layers in detail in the upcoming videos. If you want to know the difference between scalar, vector, array and tensor, then you can watch the video, link of which is given in the i button above. These concepts will be used frequently when we are going to build CNN model. We will be uh, using frameworks like Keras, TensorFlow to build these models. Few people build these neural network models using frameworks like PyTorch, PyCafe, etc. So let me quickly tell you on a high level how these CNN works. CNNs like neural networks are made up of neurons with learnable weights and biases. Each neuron receives several inputs, takes a weighted sum of them, pass it through an activation function and responds with an output. The whole network has a loss function and all the tips and tricks that we developed for neural networks still apply on CNNs. If you want to understand these concepts in detail then you can watch this video series to set the foundation in neural networks. In this video series, I have covered all the important topics, so feel free to watch it. If in case you don't want to build these CNN models from scratch, then you can make use of pre-trained models like YOLO v3, MobileNet, VGG, Face Model, Mask RCNN, etc. All you need to do is to tweak their layers a bit as per your requirements and retrain them. And then you will be able to use it for your own application or your own requirements. You can train these models free of cost on GPU and TPU based machines by making use of Google Colab. If you want to know how to make use of Google Colab and how to set that up, then you can watch this video, link of which is given in the i button above. So folks, this is it for this video. In the next upcoming videos, I will cover explanation of various layers of convolution neural networks before we develop any re image recognition, object detection related projects. So here is today's question. State true or false. Color image can be represented as 2D or two dimensional image. Please post your answers, comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.